Yo, it's seven, almost seven in the morning, and we're heading to the doctor today. So I thought I'd do a little vlog going to the doctor. So let's go. so early they're not even open yet so we're gonna go somewhere and sit so you see I catch the parent transit and it only costs a dollar per trip I use it for dialysis like to date doctor's appointments because um, I'm not driving right now I can even use it for a grocery store I need to go to the store get some groceries I can bring back a couple of bags on the bus and I can bring somebody with me if I needed to so that's pretty cool only cost a dollar per trip there and back wherever you're going before I got approved for that I was taking a, um, Uber which is cool service but I was paying 18 bucks a trip 18 bucks to go 18 bucks to return so I'm glad I got approved for this it's a big difference so we go back down to the lounge to kick it down there for a while I got about an hour 45 minutes So, yeah, I haven't eaten anything yet neither. I made me a ham sandwich. I may eat that, but we'll see. So while we wait, I thought I'd walk around and show you a little bit of Providence. It's a pretty cool uh, hospital. They got a lot of stuff like this here. I'll read that, hopefully. time is it? It's 7.18. I need to be here at 7.45. So we still got about 20 minutes before we go in. And uh, and then the appointment should be pretty fast and my bus should be back to pick me up about, I think I set it for 9.15 to 9.45. You got to give me like a 30, 30 minute mark. So wait for that. What they're doing, they're checking on my fish lift. 
So you see right there, that's where the first one was done. What they do, they connect the main arteries together and it makes it, uh, they call it a thrill, where it kind of vibrates. You can touch it and it puts it vibrate. And that way it makes it easier for the needle or for them to find the needle, the poking needle, the poking spot to put the needle. What the hell are you talking about? For dialysis. But this got clogged up like a week after I had it done. It didn't work well. So they did it here. They cut the incision in between my arm right there and then it goes up to here and that's still working you put your hand in that area like right up your hand you can feel the thrill and then but it was so narrow the the main artery was really narrow so it last so about a week ago they had to go in and put a balloon in there to make it uh open and wider so i'm coming back to get that checked out and what's going to happen is that if that's better they still may have to raise the vein closer to the surface to make the make it easier to get access for needles to do the dialysis, which would be a big surgery that'd be like a, a cut from here. I mean, a really long cut, so it'd be really really deep surgery. So and that's the preferred way of doing dialysis is through the fistula. Right now, I have a catheter. I'm gonna show you the catheter. I hate this part. That's the catheter. I can't wait to get this thing out of my chest. I feel like vulnerable with this thing in my chest. So that's kind of like, it's embedded in your chest, pretty much embedded in your chest. And that's what they use right now. But you don't get the full dialysis that way. It's better to go through the actual main arteries and that's what they want to use, the fistula. Plus this is prone for the infections much more than the fistula is. So, um, but it takes time for that fistula to heal, like three months for it to heal after you have the surgery. Plus mine is so deep, so another surgery is gonna happen. So. I'm just waiting for that to get done. That's why I'm here today, so they can check on that and see if it's still flowing really good. You can still feel the thrill. It's called a thrill. That's the vibration. And if the balloon has opened up the arteries wider. So, uh, and, that, and if that's good, then the next step would probably be getting ready for the big surgery to have the vein move up closer to the surface, which I really don't want to do that surgery because it's going to be a pretty big one, meaning they're probably going to have to put me under. And I hate that. If that tube down my throat, oh my god, it sucks. This guy, yeah. I'll blow it up a little bit here, so. That is crazy. So there's a balloon. You okay. ready? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then after that was done, this is the after picture. Whoops, I made it too big. Still too big. So there's the artery, there's the connection with the vein, mm -hmm. and that narrow spot was up here somewhere and that looks better. And then there's a branch. Sometimes we tie off the branches, yeah. so we divert more flow through here. Mm -hmm. But I think that the next step... So we are done early, and I got about 45 minutes before my bus come pick me up. So we go downstairs to eat my little ham sandwich. Made me a ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. About to eat, got my sandwich, got my juice, and some chips. So now I'm waiting for the bus. My ham sandwich is pretty good. I really don't like ham sandwiches, but I hooked it up. A little bit of mayonnaise, mustard, and that's it. It's weird though, because since I started taking this <clears throat> pregnant and everything, my taste got really messed up really bad where I couldn't taste anything or things tasted really, really nasty. So, I wasn't used to eating like mayonnaise anymore and Miracle Whip, it tastes funny. So now, I only put like very little uh, mayo on it, very little. 
And then, oh man, the one thing that I hate that my taste is messed up on is bacon. Yes, I love bacon, but now it has a weird taste to me. Anything that's really salty now has really bad taste, which is really weird because I'm like fascinated with bacon. So I eat bacon a little bit on some things, but not like I used to be able to just eat it. <laughs> the taste is not done anymore. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, fun day.